fun use of ISIS or Tommy Robinson. Uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is the I. Bob the liar. If I'm lying, go and speak about the Assyrian Christians. They never fought the Muslims, but they were also persecuted. What is the hadith? The hadith or the sayings and the doings of who? Thank you. So this story is in the hadith, so who's responsible? Why? I talk about Islam, you're talking about people, you're talking about missionaries. Those are people. Allah said clearly, Allah categorized the non believers into two categories. Okay. is the first which rebuked in Medina. The Allah categorized the non believers into two categories. The first one, those who never fight against us because of our religion. And they never took us out of our houses because of our religion. Allah said, deal with them kindly, lovely, justly. Why? Because Allah loved those who are just. Then Allah goes on to carry on the verse. And the next verse, Allah said, only Allah forbid you. So why did they persecute Coptic Christians, Jamzi? Coptic Christians never fought the Muslims. They were African Christians, they never fought the Muslims, and they were persecuted under Islamic Sharia law. This is just propaganda, it's not, it's not connected to the history. It's just propaganda. Make me, make me, make me. Or what? Anyway, what happened to the Coptic Christians, Shamsi? I tell you, what happened to They were persecuted. Go, go and speak to the Coptic Christians. This man is lying about what his religion teaches and what actually happens in practice. That the best friends and the best companions of ISIS are Tommy Robinson. Uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is the I. Bob the liar. If I'm lying, go and research for yourselves the plight of the Coptic Church. Go and type in Google the persecution of Egyptian Christians. If I'm lying, these people never fought the Muslims, but they were persecuted in any case. If I'm lying, go and speak about the Assyrian Christians. They never fought the Muslims, but they were also persecuted. Anyway, what we know that yes, there is in history, sometimes some Muslim leaders, they oppress some people. We know that already, alhamdulillah. And Islam is free from 1400 years. But we know it wasn't an accident, Shamsi. We it wasn't an accident. You're lying to the camera, Shamsi. Brothers, but I'm speaking now. In, in the Bible says to Moses, go to the towns and kill them. Is that right or wrong? Wrong. Old Covenant, it's wrong today. Last I've answered your question. Is he right or wrong? Uh, right. It's, it's wrong right. today. It's wrong right. today. It's our God. Our God. Our God. Never do the right question. Go and look up the plight of the Assyrian Christians and the Coptic Christians. This man is lying to the camera. Let me reply. Yes, yes, it's our God. The God we worship. Who did the Assyrian Christians fight, Shamsi? The God we worship. Who did the Coptic Christians fight, Shamsi? They were persecuted. You are lying about it's what actually God. happened. Oh, God, he, I do everything with him, he reason. You're lying, Shamsi, and only the gullible and the ignorant will believe you.
believe you. Only the gullible and the ignorant and the will believe you, Shamsi. You're lying. Muslim, Muslim, Free the Coptic Church! 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 He's lying! Perfect! This is what muscular Christianity is. It means being comfortable with comfort. Yeah, he was lying about what was actually <laughs> yeah, so basically we had Shamsi doing his usual rubbish about what, you know, Islam is this tolerant religion, it only fights those that fight against Islam, and that is a lie. The reality is the Coptic Church never fought the Muslims, the Assyrian Church never fought the Muslims, but their lands were conquered and they were persecuted relentlessly for 1400 years. Christians, stop allowing Muslims to control the narrative. Tell the history of the church. Tell the history of the persecuted church and challenge them on their lies. Do you agree with killing people for having Islam? Then you're better than your prophet. I don't think. I've been killed. Many Muslims don't believe that. Yes, because many Muslims are better than Muhammad. No, you are better than Muhammad. Right now, you're better than Muhammad. God gave this little Because Muhammad says one thing, and you're saying something different. So God gave this little Nowhere peaceful person. Really? Really? What did he do to the people that killed that guy and then stole those cars? Like your Yeah, what did he do to them? What did he do to them? Kill them. He didn't just kill them. Did he? No, he didn't just kill them. He had hot nails passed over their eyes to blind them, and then he cut off their hands and their feet, and he left them to die in the sun. Would you say that that was barbaric? If we took a Muslim who committed a crime, now I believe in capital punishment. I've got no problem with killing people for certain things like murder. So capital punishment on its own, fine, right? But if you torture someone to die in the most barbaric way, by cutting off their hands and their feet, blinding them, and then just leaving them in the sun to die slowly. Would you call that person a gentle person that wouldn't hurt a fly? Is that a fair description? It is your prophet that allowed it. He may not have hacked the sword himself, but he allowed it, he ordered the punishment. That's your prophet. That's your example. He said get them killed or not. He didn't just say get them killed. He allowed them to be killed that way. He could have opened his mouth and stopped it like that. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? What is the hadith? The hadiths are the sayings and the doings of who? Thank you. So this story is in the hadith. So who's responsible? There you go. However, okay, but tell me how the Coptic Church is not free. In Egypt, they are free to do whatever they want. They have the same rights no, as every Muslim. That is a lie. You are lying right now. You're lying through your back teeth. You're either lying or you're so ignorant you don't know the truth. Okay, he's an Egyptian who has You're so ignorant you don't know the truth. Okay, apparently because you're Egyptian, you're an authority in all things Egyptian. So tell me, the law that says Christians can't repair their churches. What, sorry? You don't, so you're not an authority just because you're in gym. I just wanted to check that. There we go. So what's your next argument? Yeah, but how would they... Okay, going back to what I said about my ancestors. They went not to kill people. They went to a town... So? They went to a town in um, in the, one of the gover governorates in Egypt. In, like, the biggest governorate. In Egypt. And they went... And the, the, my ancestor's son, my other ancestor, he married the priest's daughter, the biggest priest in the whole of the government. Brother, what you need to do 
right? You need to get rid of all this fuzz in your head. You need to go away and you need to do some hard research about the conditions that happens to the Coptic Christians and the Assyrian Christians in the Middle East. You need to do that. You need to stop talking. You need, you, no, right now. You need to stop talking crap because that's all you're doing. You're just talking rubbish and you're not doing it because you know anything. You're doing it because you're filled with this hubris and pride that means that you have to contribute. Go away and research it. You'll find that I'm talking facts. Christians suffer anti-Christian pogroms in Egypt. Christians are murdered in Egypt for being Christian. They're not. You're lying. Again, go away and research it. Everyone who's watching on camera, go away and research it and then put underneath who's the liar, me or him. Go away and look into it. Because what you're going to see in the comment section is lots of people who are willing to do something that you're not willing to do. Which is go into research and they will see that I am right, that you're talking out your arse, and then they will say underneath that you're talking out your arse. That's what you're going to see. Because not everyone is as stubborn and as ignorant as you. Go away and research. Right, so you're going to go away and research what's happening to the Coptic Church then? And when you find out that they are being persecuted, are you going to come back and say, I was wrong? No. No. Because they're not. Even though you've not researched it. When was the last time you researched this? You haven't. You haven't. Sorry, did you just say you haven't? I've never seen anyone in Oh, I've never seen. That's obviously a winning argument. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. What a winning argument. There are lots of things, bro, that you have never seen and never heard. It doesn't mean they don't happen. Brother, I know a lot of Coptic Christians here in London. And they tell me what happens to their community. And they aren't speaking hypothetically. They're talking about their uncles and their aunties and people that they know personally. You're talking crap. And you're talking out of ignorance. And you're just being stubborn. And if that's what Islam does to you, then we can better off without Islam. Perfect. I can say that. I just said this. Why is it not true? What? We are better off without Islam. Because it's the state leaders that enforce these laws then. The Middle it's East is better itself. off without Islam. No. Saudi Arabia will be better off without Islam. It's better off without the House of Saud, but not better off without Islam. It will be better off without Islam. If you want to believe that, you can believe that. I do believe that. But that is the charge. I do believe it. I do believe it. So your choice is, go away and do the research. Go away and see what's happening to Coptic Christians. Go away and see what's happening to Assyrian Christians. These two groups never ever fought the Muslims and Shamsi was trying to say that to groups that don't fight you, you're kind and gentle and compassionate and just. But the reality is cops never fought the Muslims, the Assyrian Christians never fought the Muslims and they were persecuted in any case. 